Welcome teachers. I wanted to give a brief overview on the program that was just acquired through the district via Renaissance and it's called My On. Very similar to RAS kids, um, this will be ben uh, very beneficial to those in the upper grade levels. Uh, let me go ahead and give you that quick walkthrough. So here's your main page on Renaissance and right underneath our orange button, we're going to see My On. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And you should have your um, classroom already populated. And I'm going to kind of walk you through uh, how to use it and um, how it can benefit you in the classroom. So right up here is your avatar. Uh, kiddos will love to do this. Go ahead and pick your avatar. There are tons of different ones. I did a Siamese cat. And when your kids first log in, they're going to see the page that asks them for their interest. And so I walked my kiddos through this. Um, obviously, we, we kind of de-clicked uh, Espanol and English for the UK. But um, over here, we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, graphic novels and cartoons. And the kids will see if it's uh, a happy face, like super happy, like most interested and least interested. It'd be kind of like a worried face. And so your kids can actually tailor some of the books that are recommended via my on through this so definitely go ahead and talk your kids through that and then they'll go ahead and save it and then i'll show you what it, uh they'll see on their um on the student demo right above all right for the teacher you'll go ahead and click library and you can recommend uh first grade second grade third grade whatever uh grade level you are in and this is what the students will typically kind of see um and it kind of populates some recommended reading for you as well and what you want to do with your kiddos okay um right here obviously they're highlighting a lot of the halloween stuff so that's pretty cool and let's say i want my kids Ooh, happy halloween gus this looks pretty good right so i'm going to want to click on that and when you click on that you can kind of see an overview more details specifically how many ar points it's worth about how long it's going to take to listen to the book, all these wonderful things. Um, you can go ahead and preview the book by clicking read, and then it shows you it start your book. You have tools on the side here. You can play it, have the kiddos listen to it, maybe during big time, anything of that nature. Okay. Um, you can go ahead and explore that. So let's say I am done. I'm going to click exit. But let's go back to it. Let's say, you know what? Let's do it. I want my kiddos to read this. So I'm going to go ahead, maybe add to my favorites. But most importantly, I'm going to click add to project. All right. So add to project. You see, I already have a project. We were looking at a book and playing with my on for habit six energize. And so actually, I'm going to go ahead and add a new project. I'm going to say Halloween reading. Okay. And when I click on that, I'm going to click save. You have created a new project with happy Halloween Gus. I'm going to go ahead and have that ready to go. So let me show you how we use that. So you're going to go to classroom and over here under projects, you'll see where I can assign the project for students to read that first when they log in. So you can set a due date, all those kind of good things. You can edit um, Halloween uh, AR reading, okay? And again, you can add tasks, you can do the recommended grade levels, all that good stuff, but most importantly, again, I want to go ahead and assign it. So I'm going to click my roster, select all, apply, and now they are assigned a Halloween reading. Uh, when you go to projects, you're going to go ahead and click Halloween reading. And when it says started, no one started it, right? Select the student to review their progress task. You'll click not started, and then you'll see Adeline. Happy Halloween, Gus. And it'll show that, you know, this is what they need to work on. So hopefully that helped you with um, understanding the projects and 
how to kind of assign them based on uh, your grade level. So again, that's going to be the most important thing when you're on my classroom. Assigning your projects is kind of not intuitive in that sense until you kind of start building a library and, and um, having the kids explore content matter and subjects from there. Now, another way to go about building your library, and we were playing around with this in second grade, was simply going uh, to the standards. And you can look up national standards. I'm gonna go ahead and just click uh, Common Core State Standards. And uh, let me throw it back. Let's say um, third grade, uh, you know, reading standards for literature and um, click on search bar and right there, ask and answer questions, right? Describe traits, motivations, feelings. These will help narrow down books to help you actually work on a specific targeted standard within your classroom. Let's say uh, RL 3.1, right? And then there you are. It gives you some recommended books. You can see roughly the ATOS level, um, if you're familiar with the guided reading levels, and I definitely look at the page count and how long the audio would be if uh, they want to go ahead and listen to it. So uh, right here, Abuela Special Letters, right? I'll go ahead and click on that. Give a good preview, seven minutes. Oh, that'd be a perfect center book. Add it to your project. Preview it here. Add it to your favorites, and you can kind of explore from there. Okay, so again, wonderful way to kind of target standards, start building your library in that sense as well. Um, let's now go into the, the student demo mode so you can see what the kiddos are going to start um, seeing from there. All right, second grade, perfect, confirm and view demo. So this is what the kiddos are going to see, and you'll notice how they'll get to see how far they can get to reading 20 minutes a day. You can make that a goal. You have to read 20 minutes a, a week, 30 minutes a week, however uh, you wish to be. You can change it to month, and you can kind of go from there, okay? And right over here, you'll see their projects. You can see I finished my Habit 6 Synergize reading, uh, reading books right here, and I can go back to my home screen. I just told my kiddos to click my arm at the very top. You can see, ooh, I got Halloween reading, and then boom, we're right there. I have some activity. It's not completed yet because remember I was skipping through, which you're not supposed to. Um, and again, it has your recommended reading over here because you, you read being cooperative. It just it's it's a very similar filter to you know uh, social media where they give you the recommendations and, and things of that nature. Um, again, library, I can browse for books, so no kids can tell you that they don't have anything to read. It's all available on my own. They have thousands of books that they can go through and read as well. And based on their recommendations, they can go ahead and see that based on their ZPD, yeah, based on popular in your grade level, because I like pets, and they can kind of change that and go around from there, okay? Um, and again, they can have access to their projects. You got to tell them you got to get everything to the green bar. A, a wonderful way to just hold students accountable for their reading and what they can do in class. All right. And as always, again, you click on that. And the most important thing about this program is, is a, it's an easier way to get them to go directly to their AR test. So if I click on that, it's not going to take me on the demo, but simply they just click on that and then it relogs them back into renaissance and it, it automatically takes them to the uh, ar test um it's not it's not in a sense it's not going to take them to anything different it just avoids them having to type the title or you having to look up the ar number and, and they have to type in the code it just directly takes them to the ar quiz um so that they can get on it uh not all the books will like have the reading feature where it reads them the questions, right? Unless it's a super, super low level. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my on. Again, a wonderful way to keep students accountable for their reading and, and getting AR points and, and working towards a reading every day, whether they can get it at school or in your classroom. Um, please reach out to myself. Please reach out to Tom if you have any questions on how to get started on this program. Hopefully this video helps and um, we hope to uh, have you guys use this program uh, and maximize any effort in the classroom when it comes to uh, reading and renaissance. Thank you again.